Hello everyone and welcome back to our home studio. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we are going to discuss about BS6 and everything you need to know about it. So we'll cover all the changes in the standards from BS4, which was implemented back in 2017 to BS6 which has been implemented from 1st April 2020. However, due to the pandemic situation throughout the country, the sales for BS4 vehicles have been extended. So before we proceed ahead, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss an update from Rev Explorers. Also go ahead and check out our Instagram page, Facebook page and Twitter page. I hope you like it. You might remember that Delhi went into odd and even mode to curb the air pollution. Well, there are many factors involved for increasing the air pollution and our vehicles are one of them. So the concept behind odd and even was to reduce the number of vehicles on the road to fight the air pollution. And BS6 standards are here to solve this issue that is controlling the air pollution. This is the first time in India that after enforcing BS4 in 2017, government is implementing BS6 in just over three years. Now, before we dive deep into what BS6 emission standards are, let's understand what is BS. Well, it stands for Bharat Stage Emission Standards or BSES, shortly called as BS. Well, it is Bharat Stage Emission Standards, which is based on European emission standards. We started implementation of Bharat Stage from year 2000, starting with the BS1, followed by BS2, BS3 and so on. But due to the rising air pollution, Indian government took a strict action and announced that the country will skip BS5 and directly implement BS6 in the year 2020. So here we are with a guide for you on everything you need to know about the BS6 emission standards. The first standard is that BS6 will contain five times lesser sulfur content at 10 ppm for diesel engines as well as petrol engines, which was 50 ppm in BS4 for diesel engine and 30 ppm for the petrol engines. Along with that, the oxides of nitrogen, also known as NOx, which is produced as a result of combustion, will be brought down by 70% for diesel engines and 25% for petrol engines. This is the reason you might have noticed that almost all the car manufacturers have stopped the production of small size diesel engine. Due to the stringent emission norms for the diesel engine, it is not easy for the manufacturers to make that engine compliant as well as keep the cost in check. Because if they do make the diesel engine BS6 compliant, they will become very expensive and hence there is no point in going the distance. The second standard of BS6 will be having advanced technology to enable real-time tracking of emission and this will be the first time in India. It is also known as Real Driving Emission Test or RDE which helps in measuring a vehicle's emission in real life conditions against the laboratory conditions. Now we don't have the clear specifics at this moment for this test. However, if we take into consideration the Euro 6 emission standards where RDE has been implemented, then we can understand that a PEMS device or you can call it as portable emission measuring system is installed on a vehicle which is then driven for almost 90 to 120 minutes and the route taken is one third urban, one third highway and one third freeway to check the emission or you can say the pollutants coming out of the vehicle. A study shows that a vehicle can emit two times more pollutants in a real life driving scenario than compared to the laboratory test. The third addition to the BS6 standards are the diesel particulate filters or you can call it as DPF and the SCRs or we call it as selective catalytic reduction. Now these are the thick catcons fitted inside the exhaust pipe. You might remember it from our previous review videos where we showed you the catcon fitted inside the exhaust pipe. Now these catcons are used to reduce the 
नॉक्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ योर टेल पाइप बाई कन्वर्टिंग देम इन टू डाई अटोमिक नाइट्रोजन और यू कैन कॉल इट एज एन टू एंड एच टू ओ दैट इज वॉटर ऑल्सो इट हेल्प इन रिमूविंग द डीजल पार्टिकुलेट मैटर और यू कैन कॉल इट एज सूट फ्रॉम द एग्जॉस्ट गैसेज ऑफ द डीजल इंजिन नाउ कमिंग टू द लास्ट स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ बी एस सिक्स द ऑन बोर्ड डायग्नोस्टिक डिवाइस और ओ बी डी दैट वी शोड यू इन द रिव्यू ऑफ टी वी एस जुपिटर बी एस सिक्स इफ यू रिमेंबर नाउ दिस इज एन इक्विपमेंट दैट इन्फॉर्म द वहीकल ओनर और द टेक्नीशियन अबाउट द एफिशियंसी ऑफ द सिस्टम इन साइड द वहीकल आई फील दैट टू अकोमोडेट द ओ बी डी पोर्ट द मैन्युफैक्चर हैव टू स्विच from carburetors to fi that we discussed in the last video of carburetors versus fi also it was not possible for the manufacturers to fit their vehicle into the bs6 emission standards because bs4 emission standards were somewhere here and bs6 have gone like this so you needed to move from carburetors to fi to make this happen and somewhere down the line i think that this obd port that you are getting on your vehicle is going to be used to connect the vehicle network to the portable emission measuring systems which we discussed in the earlier section of the rde test so somewhere this might be connected that is why government has made them mandatory to install an obd port on all the bs6 vehicles so yes that is all from the bs6 standards and ignore the rumors that say that the old vehicles will be banned all the vehicles will remain operational throughout their registration until and unless your vehicle starts to fail the emission test then you might have to get it fixed so if you own a bs4 compliant motorcycle or car you need not worry to sell it immediately and buy a bs6 compliant vehicle also apart from the manufacturer's role in the bs6 emission standard you will have to take care of using the bs6 compliant fuel for your bs6 engines to keep your cars and motorcycles under the radar and just to add the bs4 petrol vehicles can use the bs6 compliant fuel because there is a little difference in the chemical composition however for those owning a diesel vehicle the bs4 engines will not support the bs6 diesel fuel because the sulfur content in the diesel acts as a lubricant to the diesel injectors with that said india is making history by implementing the bs6 standards in a remarkable time frame of just 3 and a half years from bs4 i know it is a big leap for us as customers or as manufacturers we have to bear the cost but you have to understand it is for a greater good for a cleaner air and i feel it is worth it on that note it's time to end i hope this video was helpful for you if you still have any queries or questions you can reach us in the comment section below or you can get in touch with us on instagram facebook or twitter we'll be happy to help do not forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss an update from rev explorers we'll see you in the next video till then stay home and stay safe